All right. It's on. Like having all your bones broken under a wheel before you're executed. Bad social behavior was dealt with by public embarrassment via shame. Men acting like pigs wore this hat. Gossip. People who heard too much and talked too much would be locked into the seat of the bell ringing on top. Also, people would be locked into a double neck violin until they wore the same hat. Victorian wood carvings and cruel and unusual punishment shine a light on medieval life. But my favorite trend in the medieval Rotenberg is with the night watchman. Night picks up his lantern and leads a gang of tourists into the past. <laughs> it's time to. Bracken forehead. To me, it was like Lance Armstrong riding in the Pyrenees. And you know what? We're finished. Let's go do it again. It was like an Iron Man triathlon. What is that? Eight hours and twenty minutes? Nah. -uh. This was ten hours for two guys. No substitute. Unbelievable. And if two cents in this, it can go forever. You gotta win my two games. It was just unbelievable how it continued to go on and on. We saw Nicholas Mahu diving to the ground late in the match. Just a clear picture of the sheer desire that these two showed today. The mental fortitude, uh, the physical ability to soldier on through over seven hours today. And John Isner, one of the bright young talents in American tennis, really showed us something about the future. Well, he had a stellar career at the University of Georgia, and he's worked his way into the top 20 in tennis, and 98 pieces for the big guy. But what was so amazing, Hannah, was the way he just continued to battle as he really lost his physical fitness. And the hoot was much fresher physically as the match went on into the fifth hour, the sixth hour, the seventh hour, but he was still able to hang in there, monster serving and monster forehands from Big Bill. It is not over. At the very least, not, it's not over. Be a 61 on the court tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, back to the court yeah. center. Yeah, you just get yourself a ball. Come to sandwich and you'll be fresh as a daisy. Isner Mahout continued uh, 9.30 on ESPN, U and ESPN 3. Also, 7 a.m. you got Andy Murray and Yarko Newman on ESPN 2. Lawrence Taylor indicted today by a suburban New York grand jury on charges of rape, criminal sexual act, and sexual abuse. Prosecutors alleged Taylor paid $600 and $300 to have sex with him. The indictment handed down nine weeks after the Hall of Fame linebacker's arrest. Faces up to four years in prison. Convicted for the next court date, July 13th. Taylor denies the charges. The attorney says they made a strategic decision not to have Taylor appear before the grand jury. Still ahead on Sports Center, the goal that seemed would always be denied. But then Landon Donovan put four years of hard work and his team on his back. Plus, big trouble keeping out the pool. Off the ice, he had four hits. But the cards needed to get a run on the night to break the pool this game. The 2010 FIFA World Cup continues tomorrow on ESPN.
like having the convenience of having the home phone, but why should I pay a lot when I don't use my home phone all that much? Bundles are a burden. I, for the life of me, can't even figure out what portion of that bundle is phone. Keep your home phone. Use <laughs> the big bill. Now get nationwide. You're only paying $9.99 a month. Offer available online only. Go to Vonage.com now. I mean, that's a win-win for everybody. I'm Cheryl Robert, and this is the last bill. I'm paying my old phone company. <laughs> When's the button? <laughs> He's doing the... Well, it's just...